In this video, we're going to continue with looking at ways of organizing and visualizing numerical data. First, we're going to look at uh, a data set with two uh, numerical var uh, variables. We have the NBA teams listed and their revenue and current value. We're going to create a scatter plot of the revenue and current value. To do that, I'm going to highlight the columns from C1 through D31 that hold my information. I'm going to go to my Insert tab and then click on the Scatter Plot and choose the top icon on the left in the first row and my scatter plot is created. I'm going to add a trend line to the scatter plot by right clicking and then format the plot area and then click that chart uh, or that plus box for chart elements and then add a trend line and that places a linear trend line in my scatter plot. Next, we're going to create a time series, and I'm going to open up a new worksheet. This one has movie revenues from the years 1995 through 2011. And I'm going to highlight the data, go to the Insert tab, click on the Scatter icon and then choose the fourth icon which is scatter with straight lines and markers and there is my time series plot of movie revenues from 1995 through 2011. Next, I'm going to open up a new worksheet. This one is of retirement funds. And first, we're going to create a stem and leaf plot. We haven't looked at that yet. I'm going to click on the tab that says Unstacked. And then I'm going to Go to my Add Ins tab and PH stat, Descriptive Statistics, and then scroll over to Stem and Leaf Display. And it asks for my variable cell range. And let's look at a Stem and Leaf plot for our values. And I'm going to highlight. That data from B1 through B96. Check first cell contains label. And let's look at our summary statistics as well. Check that. And then click OK. This gives us a stem and leaf plot of the three year return percentage for the value retirement funds. Now we're going to look at organizing and visualizing more than two numerical variables. I'm going to click on my data tab that contains the data for my retirement funds. And we're going to organize that using a pivot table. So click on the insert tab and pivot table. That places my um, data into the table range. We will place the pivot table on a new worksheet and then click OK. In my pivot table designer, I'm going to grab type and move that field under the rows label. 
And then I'm going to grab the market cap and drag that field under the roles label as well. And then I'm going to grab risk and drag that field under the columns label. And then I'm going to grab type again and drag the field under the values label. I'm going to move over to the values label and where it says count of type. I'm going to click the down arrow and then click on value field settings. And I want to show my values as. I'm going to click on that. And then I want to show my values as a percent of the grand total. So click the down arrow and scroll to percent of grand total and click OK. Our fields are organized alphabetically and we want to rearrange it so that low, average, and high appear in that order. So click on cell D4 and then drag it to the left and now we have low, average, and high. That's how we want our pivot table arranged. So we have constructed a pivot table showing the percentage of the overall total for the fund type risk and market cap for the retirement funds sample. And this is for taken from your text, the uh, Excel guide, chapter 2, page 102. That concludes this video. I'll see you next video. Bye-bye.